Do you want to hear a cool story? Once upon a time, there was a butterfly that didn't know it was beautiful because it had never gotten out of his cocoon. But one day, everything changed. Press like and subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be interesting. I'm Victoria, nice to meet you. I turned on a makeup tutorial on YouTube and I spent two hours spinning in front of the mirror. By the way, which beauty gurus do you follow? My boyfriend, Liam, invited me to a party and I wanted to look drop dead gorgeous. I was really insecure when I was in elementary school. I always felt self-conscious because my skin wasn't perfect and I had a bad habit of biting my nails. But one day, I decided to befriend the most attractive and popular guys at school. Liam was one of them. He looked like a Greek god and everyone listened to him. So I worked wow. on my appearance and I transformed. <laughs> Liam noticed me and asked me out. At school, everyone adored me like I was Princess Diana. I walked up to the house where the party was supposed to take place. Hmm. People were already pulling up to it, but Liam was nowhere to be found. Huh? Then I got a text from him. He said he'd be late and we should start without him. <sighs> that was just like him. I shrugged and I went in the house. <laughs> Only the cream of the crop was supposed to be at the party. But to my surprise, I saw Chucky in the crowd. He was loudly chewing on an apple and trying to wedge his way into other people's conversations. He was the butt of most jokes at school. I mean, just look at him. What's with this ridiculous look? So hmm. I was sure that someone had just invited huh. him to make fun of him. The poor guy. Boys kept coming up to me and trying to flirt, but I brushed them off and I kept waiting for Liam. Where the hell is he? Joe, the guy that threw the party, suddenly suggested that we play the kissing game, spin the bottle. Victoria, are you in? Of course, huh? I said no. After all, I was waiting for my boyfriend. But then I got an audio message from him. Plans changed. Sorry, have fun without me, gorgeous. I wanted to grab him by his shoulders and shake him. How could he do that? This wasn't even the first time he'd bailed on me. So I decided to play spin the bottle to get back at Liam. We sat on the floor in Joe's room and put a Coke bottle in the middle. Joe explained the rules to everyone. The people the bottle hmm. pointed at would spend a few minutes in the closet together. Once you're chosen, you're out. Everyone ready? Joe reached for the bottle, but then Chucky ran into the room. He was out of breath. Wait, I want to play too. Then he sprayed freshener into his mouth and sat next to me and wiggled his eyebrows. I can't wait for our turn, Victoria. Oh my God, please kill me now. I wanted to back out, but the game had already started. There were fewer and fewer participants left after every spin. I stared at the spinning bottle and then at Chuck in horror. He was making goo-goo eyes at me. Okay, this is the last round. Come on, cowboy. Joe winked at Chuck and he spun the bottle. It pointed at me. <sighs> what a nightmare. Was I supposed to kiss that weirdo now? <laughs> Not on your life. It's time for you to go to the closet. Ew. Amid the stifled laughter of our classmates, we did just that. Chucky immediately reached out what? to me. Sorry, but I have a boyfriend and I don't like you. Can I at least say that you kissed me, please? Everyone will laugh at me if I don't. Oh, what? Hmm. I don't know what possessed me, but I agreed to play along. I just hoped I wouldn't regret it. We got out of the closet and Chucky smugly uh -huh. gave our classmates a thumbs up. Everyone cheered. <laughs> it's always the quiet ones. The weirdo kissed the most beautiful girl in school. Mom says I'm cool. I didn't want to see those clowns anymore, so I went home. <laughs> I was still pissed at Liam. He invited me to the party, but didn't even come. So when he came to pick me up as usual the next morning and he acted like nothing happened, I blew up on him. What was so important that you had to ditch me? Calm down, Vic. I had to drive my grandmother to the hospital. She sprained her ankle. I turned red with shame and I instantly forgave him. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. We made up and went to school together. On the way there, I told him about playing along with Chucky out of pity the day before. At first, Liam turned gloomy, but then hmm. he believed that I hadn't really kissed Chucky. But then, that moron appeared in the hallway in glasses and a dumb bow tie. Chucky waved at me and blew a kiss. Hey, listen up, everyone. Yesterday, Victoria kissed me, and I took a selfie of us, look. She's my girlfriend now. Huh? His words made my blood boil. What was he talking about? Uh. Chucky started showing everyone a picture of us kissing in the closet. Even a child would realize it was photoshopped. However, <laughs> Liam looked at the picture, shook his head in disappointment and walked away from me. I never thought she would cheat on me. Our classmates passed the photo around and giggled uh. as they looked at me. Had everyone lost it? 
Did they really believe that I liked Chucky of all people? <laughs> he was just enjoying being the center of attention when I grabbed his hand and demanded an explanation. It just made everyone laugh harder. Oh, look, the lovebirds are fighting. <laughs> Ugh! I elbowed my way through the crowd and walked into the classroom, hoping that by the end of the day, everyone would have forgotten about that dumb lie. But I couldn't have been more wrong. Things only got worse. I was taking my textbooks huh? out of my locker when Chucky got on his knees in front of me, <sighs> kissed my hand, and started howling a love song. That freaking wacko! And someone took a photo of us. And the next day, Chucky and I became school memes. Can you believe it? Of course, my friends all turned their backs on me. When I came up to the table of popular guys in the dining room, they looked at me with pity and smirked. Sorry, Vic, but all the seats are taken. You should sit with someone of your status. She pointed at the table by the toilet where Chucky was eating. Liam didn't even spare me a glance. Ugh! I left the dining room without eating. Even my academic performance was suffering because of Chucky's lies. Why? Well, the teachers loved him, so they made us work together on projects whenever he asked. I could no longer bear either him or the curious glances of my former friends. So I started skipping classes. I told my parents that I was going to school, and then I would wander around the city trying to find a way to fix everything. One day, I was lying on the grass in a park and counting the minutes until school was over, and I could finally go back home. And... Ding, 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 ding. The classes are over. I was walking home when I saw Liam. He looked huh? around warily and slipped into a beauty salon. Hmm, what was he doing there? I wanted to follow him, but then my parents called me and told me to go home at once. You're in serious trouble. Oops, did they find out I'd been skipping school? How though? I walked into the living room and I immediately huh? pieced together what had happened. Chucky was sitting there showing off his collection of butterflies to my parents. I like entomology. Had Chucky ratted me out? I'd had it with him. I would have pinned him to a wall like one of his insects. That would show him. My parents praised Chucky and said that they were so glad I was dating such a nice boy. What? Were they kidding? He's coming over every day to help you with your studies. We're taking away your makeup for skipping classes. No, please, you know I have skin problems. I need my concealer to cover up the imperfections. Don't be embarrassed, babe. I like you anyway. I almost gagged when he said that. After I played spin the bottle, my life turned into a living hell. I was so stressed out, I even started biting my nails again. I can't do this anymore. It's time to act. That evening, I snuck out of my room and I came to Chucky's house. I climbed up a tree to his window and I knocked. Hey, you freak, open up. Victoria? Mom doesn't let me have girls over. Then you should let me in now or I'm gonna make a scene. I climbed up a branch and into Chucky's room. It looked like a little kid and not a high school student lived there. Can you imagine? I glared at Chucky and he gulped and looked like he was thinking of hiding under the bed. What do you think you're doing, huh? Can't you see that you're ruining my life? I know, Vic, I'm sorry. Look at me, no one will ever like me. I wanted to know what it was like to date a pretty girl like you, at least for a while. Chucky started crying like a baby and snot dribbled down his nose. Jeez, he looked like a helpless puppy. I felt sorry for him again. I used to feel like that too, after all, but I changed. So I decided I would help this caterpillar turn into a beautiful butterfly. I've got an idea. The holidays are starting tomorrow, so how about this? I'll make you popular and you will stop ruining my life. It's a deal. It took a lot of work, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> the next morning, I took Chucky shopping and picked out some amazing Whoa. clothes for him. Then Chucky got his hair cut and his eyes checked. His new hairstyle was fashionable and his new contacts were cool. He was becoming handsome right before my eyes. It's time to go to the dentist. Oh, is that really necessary? You need a Hollywood smile. I know it might be hard to believe, but with my help, Chucky turned into a gorgeous guy. Wow, is that really me? Yeah, it is, buddy. And now, see those girls? Go and introduce yourself. You should get a real girlfriend. Chucky nodded and tried to hit on the girls. Do you want to look at my butterflies? Ugh, leave us alone, you weirdo. Um, those flirting skills of his could use some work. I told him he did well for his first time. We agreed to meet at the mall the next day. 
I was waiting for him by the fountain the next day, and when Chucky came up, I almost fell over in shock. He looked like he always had at school. He was slouching and avoiding my eyes, and he seemed embarrassed. What happened? Why do you look like this again? Mom scolded me and said I didn't need all that stuff to be handsome. I was fuming. Why didn't his mom want her son to be handsome and popular? I realized just making Chucky look good wouldn't be enough. I had to boost his self-esteem, too. I told Chucky that I used to be insecure, too. I guess I was lying a little bit. After all, I still felt self-conscious about my skin. I just learned to hide it better. We watched movies about superheroes and we read some smart books. Chucky took a lot of notes and was a very quick study. Shoulders back. Good posture is the key to success. Yes, Sensei! We were on a walk when I suddenly saw Liam walk into that beauty salon again. Hmm, I wondered what he was doing there. I missed my boyfriend terribly and I was hoping we could get back together. I'm sorry. It's my fault you guys broke up. Let me help. Thank you. But the best thing you can do is stick to our deal and leave me alone. <laughs> Chucky nodded understandingly. I walked him home. I began to hear his mom scold him as soon as he was inside. What are you wearing? Have you fallen in with a bad crowd? Sorry, mom. I'm going to change. Uh, I did everything I could. The rest was up to Chucky, but he wasn't standing up to his mom and kept slouching, and I realized I'd probably just wasted my time. My friends weren't talking to me anymore, so I spent the rest of the holidays catching up on my studies. My parents were ecstatic. They even gave me back my makeup and let me go to the amusement park on the last day of the holidays. There, we ran into Chucky and his mom. That poor guy looked like a poodle on a walk, not a beloved son. Bring me some lemonade. Come here, let me fix your hair. <sighs> and your shorts. Good boy. Okay, mom. I don't know what came over me, but I came up to that woman and I told her everything huh? I thought of her. You're destroying Chucky's personality. He has no friends because of you. What? Who are you to talk to me like that? Chucky timidly said that I was the girl that helped him with the makeover. Oh, so you're the reason my son has been acting so strange? I'll go to your school tomorrow and write a complaint. You'll regret messing with my boy's head. The woman turned red with anger and started shouting so loudly even my parents winced. To my shock, Chucky resolutely clenched his fists and snapped. That's enough. I'm not your pet. You don't get to control me like that. And don't you dare shout at my friend. I'll decide what to wear and who to talk to myself. Wow. At that moment, I swear, he looked manlier than Arnold Schwarzenegger. The woman gasped and sat down on a bench. I smiled approvingly, and my parents and I went on to the carousel. I spent the whole evening wondering how Chucky's talk with his mom went. And the next morning, I couldn't help but whistle when I saw him at school. Chucky was wearing his new outfit, and our classmates were stunned. <laughs> he looked like a totally different person. Some of the students didn't even recognize him. Can you imagine? It wasn't even just his look that had changed. After all, Chucky had plucked up the courage and stood up to his domineering mother. Now he looked like a butterfly emerging from a cocoon. <laughs> Chucky? Pinch me. Is that really the guy who's obsessed with butterflies? Chucky confidently walked through the enthusiastic crowd and smiled at me. Thank you. You helped me become a better person. I want to pay you back somehow. Well, actually, there is something you can help me with. I want to get back with Liam and hang out with all my cool friends again. Chucky seemed a bit sad when he said he would take care of it, but he didn't argue. Soon, he told Liam and my former friends that the photo of us kissing had obviously been fake, and I was the victim of a cruel joke. After that, I was allowed to sit with the cool kids again. Liam even told Chucky he could join us. After all, he was hot now. But Chucky refused. Thanks, guys. Just a week ago, I would have been over the moon. But now I know that my confidence doesn't depend on whether you like me or not. What matters is that I'm happy with myself. Well, ciao. Chucky <laughs> winked at me sadly and walked away. And I finally asked Liam why he was going to the beauty salon. He enthusiastically pulled out a spa subscription and showed it to me. I got a package of beauty treatments as a gift. Look, my skin is shining. You should go there too, babe. Your pores are completely clogged. I looked at the subscription and I saw that several hmm. dates were crossed out. And that's when it hit hmm. me. The day my boyfriend had ditched me at the party, he was getting a face peeling procedure, not taking his grandma to the hospital. You liar! 
I was gonna make a scene, mm. but I realized I'd also mm. learned something from Chucky. Liam and his friends were so beautiful on the outside that everyone was fooled into thinking they were interesting as well. I made up my mind and I realized that I didn't want to be one of them. So I hid all my makeup, broke up with my narcissistic boyfriend, and I went to Chucky's table. Is the seat taken? I would love to hear more about your butterflies. That's how we helped each other and became best friends. Or even something more than just friends. Now tell me, what's more important to you? The appearance or the soul of a person? 